In this video I'm going to show you how to raise customer statements. It's relatively straightforward just like raising invoices and raising credit notes. If you want to know how to do those things please go back a few videos and start at the beginning of this course. There are a couple of ways in which we can raise statements on QuickBooks. We need to go to the customer module, find the customer, we can click on the drop down button here and click create statement or we can click on the customer go to the top right drop down menu and click statement I'll show you both ways in this video and we'll raise a statement for each of our customers so this is the statement screen you can choose the statement date and also the period that you want the statement to cover if you want to cover the last year say obviously just click on the calendar and choose the desired date you can go back years months and then choose the day in the month and you can also choose the end date of the statement once you're ready just click print or preview the statement will then be created and you have the opportunity to save the statement or to print it depending if you want to post it say or email it so here's the customer statement we have our details at the top left here which we entered earlier we have the customer details the date statement date the amount due balance brought forward if any we then have our invoice that we raised and our credit note 400 and 100 and if you've watched the previous videos this should all make sense to you so there's our statement that's the default statement on quickbooks and we'll look into the other documents and statements available on quickbooks online later on in this course so let's exit this just click the x's let's go to the customer module and let's create a statement the slightly quicker way straight from the customer list so we have sage books let's click on the drop down list create statement once again we can fill in the necessary dates that we want click print or preview and here's our statement for sage books there's our 120 pound invoice and the credit notes we have the dates and the amounts once again, save or print.